coffee. Who doesn't love a good cup of coffee? It's a wonderful sensory experience. It's got delicious taste, a distinct and aromatic smell, it's visually appealing, and it's got good mouthfeel. But the sounds. The sounds of coffee could be a little bit better. So today we're gonna try and see if we can make coffee sound at least half as good as it tastes by answering the question, can I make a song using only coffee? Now the way we're gonna go about this song making is fairly simple. We'll take items that we use to either make or consume coffee, we'll record a bunch of sounds we get with those items, and then we'll edit, mix, and change those sounds into a full song. And hopefully after all is said and done, it's gonna sound pretty good. Our first collection of sounds are going to come from making pour over coffee, which is my personal favorite. We'll start by heating up about a liter of water to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll see different temperatures used. This is what I like. We'll take out a paper filter. This is number two. We're then going to wet the filter and then drain the water we have at the bottom of the craft. Now I'm gonna add 30 grams of fresh, coarsely ground coffee. Next, we pour 50 milliliters of water onto the coffee to let it bloom and let gas escape from the grounds. Wait one minute for the gas to escape. Now we're finally on to our main stage of brewing our pour over coffee. And what we're gonna do is add 350 milliliters of water to the carafe over a minute and a half. And our goal is to pour some water, let the level rise, and then after we reach about halfway, let the coffee drain for a bit and keep adding water back to the carafe over a minute and a half so that we get all of that water in consistently over that time period. So what sounds did we get for all that effort? Well, actually, the sound I liked the most was from when we were adding grounds to the carafe. The way it landed just on that filter actually sounds to me like a pretty good snare sound. And so what I think we're going to do is use this and play with it a little bit. And now we have a snare. We're going to try a different method to prepare our coffee, this time using the French press. Using the French press is actually pretty simple. So we're gonna start by adding 80 grams of fresh coarsely ground coffee to the carafe. And because we learned last time that we had really great sounds from adding grounds, we're gonna try some different techniques here in the hopes that we get some good samples. The next step is to fill the French press about halfway with boiling water. After you've added water, stir the grounds in evenly, and be careful not to hit too hard against the side of the glass in the event you're using a metal spoon and not a wooden spoon because you didn't have a tiny wooden spoon even though you knew you were going to make a video where you make coffee using a French press. Wait for about 60 seconds. Remember that you were making coffee, come back and fill the French press the rest of the way with boiling water. And then you'll just take the filter, place it on top, and give your coffee about three more minutes to brew. Our last major step is going to be to use the weight of our hand to slowly and gently filter the coffee. And I'll be honest, I thought this was gonna give a more interesting sound than it did, but it didn't really pick up all that well. But hey, at least we have one fresh French press. Speaking of fresh, we also have two really good samples that we're going to get to use in our song. The first is that when we were slowly letting the coffee grounds into the French press, that slow drop into it actually gave us a phenomenal sound for us to use with a little bit of editing as a hi-hat. In addition, when we were using the metal spoon to stir in the French press, we actually got a deep, thuddy sort of sound that, with just a little bit of tweaking, sounds like a pretty good kick drum. Now that we have both of those, let's see what our percussion sounds like when we put all three of our sounds together. For this next part, what we're going to do is use this bottle full of cold brew coffee. So we'll empty this out the rest of the way, and then we're gonna just blow across this bottle and see what sound we get. Oh, we are peaking. All right, we'll move this back out of the way. Now, maybe I should have anticipated this, but the higher we filled the bottle with coffee, the more breath we needed to use to get a clear sample. But the more breath we used, the more we varied the texture of the sound we got. As a consequence of this, we actually had a wide range of different sounds to work with, and going into making our digital instruments, I had no idea which of those was actually going to make the best instrument. That is loud. That is loud. 
even this far back from this, we're still actually just like peeking. So uh, I'm gonna stand all the way over there and not be out of frame. But as a consolation prize, I will, here, if I'm not in frame, we can have Gura. So what do we do with those samples after we've recorded them? Well, we take them, we play with the pitch, we add some effects, and we build a digital instrument that I can play with an electric keyboard the same way we would play any other synthesizer. Ours sounds a bit like this. After all this, it seemed like it was time to consult an expert on what we needed to do to get the perfect sample. Uh, but he was actually hurtfully uncooperative and had no good ideas. So instead, we just started taking more samples. Now, going into recording these samples, we already had a pretty good basis for the digital instruments we'd need to write a melody, chords, and the key percussive elements to our song. So our goal here is really to find what kind of interesting sounds could we record and add to the mix to give it a distinct sound and a distinct flavor at the sort of key moments, something to separate it from a regular song. So what's next? Well, I think it's time for us to write a song. What do we have? Well, from making coffee, we've got a kick, We've got a hi-hat, and we've got a snare. And from recording cold brew, we've got something we can use for a bass, melody, and chords. I think we can combine these with the other sounds we have, and I think we've got what we need to start writing a song. So let's go for it. And there we have it, a song written using only coffee. All things considered, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. We had a simple intro, simple outro. We wrote kind of a, an A, B, A, B, A format. I thought that the open cold brew bottle sounded great and we used a filled bottle for the bass. All of our percussion was pretty good. There are some instruments that turned out less great, right? When we uh, were filling the French press, we made that into an instrument and I didn't think that sounded great. Pretty much none of the liquid pouring sounds sounded good, but you know, hey, uh, I think it went great. I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this video. And if you are watching up to this point, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you soon. So for now, bye. Take care.